guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my February TBR as well as my contemporary thon TBR. Basically I'm going to be talking about the books that I hope to read in the month of February and for the readathon that is happening later this month. So first getting into some books that I just want to read. Um, Aside from the readathon, I only have two here that I'm going to be talking about for just other reads in February. But first, like here, I have Retribution Rails by Aaron Bowman. This is the sequel to Vengeance Road, and this is a YA Western series, and it's just super fun. I really enjoy book one, and I'm just super excited to get to book two. I've been hoping to get to it, and I've just been stalling a little bit, but I'm excited to give this one hopefully a chance in February. Next up here, I have Rumble by Ellen Hopkins, which this one is going to be a buddy read with Peter from Peter Likes Books. I love him so much, and I'm just so excited to be doing a buddy read with him. I don't know much about what this one is about. Brilliant sensitivity and emotional resonance, best-selling author Ellen Hopkins Rumble explores the highly the highly charged landscapes of faith, forgiveness, and a story that asks, what if you don't have that faith in yourself, let alone in anyone or, in anyone or anything else? What if the one person you need to forgive must be yourself? So I know her books deal with a ton of hard topics and a ton of important issues, so I'm really excited to see how we both like this one. So I've, I also will be doing a classic of the month and a king of the month. I don't know what those are going to be yet. I like to kind of keep them spontaneous and fun. Um, but yes, so for my Contemporary Thon TBR, basically Contemporary Thon is a readathon that is hosted by Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads, who I love so much. Same with Julie from Pages and Pens, such a sweetheart, and Natasha from My Reading is Odd which I like binge watched all of her videos recently like a month ago or something I binge watched them all so they're great ladies definitely check them out um I love them all and I'll have their channels linked down below but they're going to be hosting the contemporary thon which this has seven challenges and it goes from the 12th to the 18th I believe it is I'll have the dates on the screen though so basically the challenges are read the most recent contemporary book that you purchased, read a contemporary book with pink on the cover, read a hyped contemporary, read a diverse contemporary, read a dark contemporary, and read a contemporary graphic novel, as well as read a contemporary that has been recommended to you. So for this I actually only have three books plus a new release that I'm going to be talking about today and yeah because I might double up or I don't know how busy that week's gonna be for me. It's the first week back at school and I don't know. So I'm keeping a light, fun, fresh, yes. Basically, before we get into the contemporary thought picks, I forgot to talk about another book that I'm hoping to read this month, which I will read this month, and that is Sin Book. I'm super excited to read this one. I might read it for contemporary thought, I don't know, but I'm super excited about it because I read everything by him and I love his work, so I'm very excited for this new release. So I'm gonna be doubling up, but I have a few picks here. So first, I'm actually going to be hoping, I'm hoping to read Ale uh, The Apocalypse of Elena, Elena Mendoza. For a contemporary thon, I might do that for a diverse and a recommended pick because Dylan talks about it all the time and then I've heard it's diverse. So I'm looking forward to that one because I loved Where the Ants, so yes. And then for a contemporary graphic novel, I have a Lighter Than My Shadow by Katie Green. And I believe this deals with a girl who's really introverted and it's just written, like it's just in black and white. And I think it's gonna be really interesting. It says Lighter Than My Shadow. It's a hand-drawn story of struggle and recovery, a trip into the black heart of a taboo illness, an exposure of those who are weak, have those who are so weak they prey on the weak and an inspiration to anybody who believes in the human power to endure towards happiness. I'm excited to see what this one's about. And then for another pick here I have Meet Cute which is by a handful of authors including um, I'm Most Excited for Stories by Nicole Yoon and Julie Murphy. That's who I'm most excited for. <laughs> but this is just supposed to be a bunch of Meet Cute stories which is just like how couples meet and the cute experiences. So I heard this one is a really fun and a light read, so I'm hoping to read this one as well. And this one I don't know anything about, but it's called Romeo and What's Her Name? This is by Shanae Petroff, and I read her other book, which is My New Crush Gave to Me. It's over here. And yeah, My New Crush Gave, yeah. But I really liked that, and I thought it was really cute, so I'm hoping to read this one as well. And again, I don't know, so the Romeo Juliet play, romance, I don't know. Seems fun. It's short. So there you guys have it. Those are the books that I'm hoping to read in the month of February and for Contemporary Thon. Let me know what you are hoping to read down below and if you're taking part in the readathon. And I'll see you all very, very soon with a new video. Bye! The fragile.